All right, so my new favorite uh, little tool with shaping uh, commands with dogs, you know, young dogs especially, um, but in, any new command are these uh, Pulio, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly, Pulio platforms. All right, so platforms are really important in the early phases of training because it gives them a target, shows them where they're supposed to be, and it helps reinforce a boundary. So when you're trying to do a, a stationary command, um, with an implied stay, because I, I don't say stay, I find it redundant. I think it sort of devalues the command. So it's like, sit, no, but I really mean it, so keep doing it. You know, like, <laughs> I already told you what to do. So I would say stay, it's sit and sit until further notice. Well, you know, th that's not wholly intuitive to them right away, nor, nor is sit. So you gotta get, help them out, get them up high, and get them on something so that they're, they're gonna be less inclined to break their sit. And the, these boxes are great. Now, what they're really designed for is to teach stand, right? It's supposed to be perfectly cut to the size of the dog. Of course, I didn't do that because I hate money, um, so it doesn't fit my dogs, uh, of course. But this one's a pretty good size for her. It would be for stand. It might be a little big, but you've got to really measure your dog um, if, if you end up Googling this and ordering these. Which, by the way, you could make these easily, but again, I'm not the craftiest guy. Um, but it, it was, they were designed with this French uh, trainer, I don't know much about her, Michelle Puglio, I think is her name, and um, she was like uh, big in like agility training. So anyway, it's a passive form of obedience, it's, it's non-corrective, it's not aversive, um, you're, you're using passive conditioning, right? So that they basically learn through uh, little spatial hints that you're giving them. So I'm, I've been using them a ton with Maya, and you can, it doesn't just work with stand though. It, it works great with down, sit, whatever. Now for a sit, a square would have been better, right? Because it fits them. It's, they'll sometimes go from a sit to a down, we don't want to do that. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. But I use it a lot for, for heel too, just giving them a target to spin around on to. Um, and we'll probably be doing that with her later. But. Um, this is great. So, I mean, they're very, very simple how they, how they work. You just get them up on it and you give them the All right, so let's go, baby. Yo. Let's go. Let's go. That's a good. Sit. That's a, that's a sit. Good girl. Good sit. Very good. Very good. Very good. Where's your good girl? <clears throat> Right, one second. Good girl, good choice. Good sit, good girl. Give her a little hint with my hand. So you can put more space between us. Good girl. That's it. that so I'm actually massaging her keeping her in place but it's also a form of reinforcement as well because she likes it you kind of like me right I kind of like you She's a good girl see I'm, I'm massaging down her on her butt right by her hips very good I'm pulling her up and stacking her very good Good straight and good girl. Now, see how it's narrow and it fits her like she doesn't have a whole lot of room. That's important. So if you do make one of your own, measure the dog first, the width of their around legs when they're in a sitting position, a standing position, they're down, so that you know the idea. You want to give them like an extra couple of inches maybe on each side, but not much more than that. Now, what this allows me to do too is to manipulate her position a little bit better, and I can kind of see flaws in the position. She's a good girl. So if she's slouching, it's hard because she's a, like a long haired dog. So if she's slouching a little bit, oh, good, good girl, she corrected herself. And their legs go like that, and puppies, slide your hand underneath and give them a little boop, sneak it right out. She's a good girl. 
Very good. That's it. Yep. Good girl. Good girl. Let's see how she fits on this one. Get up there, little feet. Come on, baby. Up. Good girl. That's it. Good. Uh -oh. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Sit. Good, sit. No. Nope. Again, straight up. You can correct behavioral stuff right away. Oh, I'm sorry. There goes your tail. Heel. Let's go. So scavenging, right? I had food up there earlier. Uh, just trying to give Marvin a distraction. So that's too much for her right now, so I'm gonna get her off. Because I don't I want zero distractions with the babies, right? Um Huh? You should go baby. You should go baby. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Heel. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's a sit. Good girl. Good sit. Very good. Very good. I just forgot what the fuck I was saying. Oh, no. <laughs> Straighten up. Shh. No, sit. Good. Good. Oh, you can correct behavioral stuff, and that's why I kind of just gave her a correction right there, because I got to stop kissing her, that she's getting really bad. So that's the last kiss you get. And, uh, but yeah, if, they, if, if they're scavenging as puppies, it's okay to correct them. Because that can kill them, and that's that's a behavioral issue, and it's you know it's a pretty serious one. They have to learn very early on that they can't take himself off the ground because it is poison. Okay, good girl. That's a little demo. Oh, I'm sorry, baby, but the importance of elevated surfaces in general, in, in training across the spectrum, but particularly with young dogs, can't be overstated. Um, again, it shows them where to go. They, it's very visible. They get it, they kind of like jumping up on it and spinning around too, like heels and stuff like that. You can make them. You can order place cots and use these. You know, I generally use them for place. You know, I've shown this before. Like you use a tire, put wood over it. It's a lot of, I mean, it's not, if I wasn't, if I was a little bit less lazy, I'd probably, you know, do, do it myself. But, you know, I have other talents, right, Maya? All right, that's all. So P O U L I O T. I believe there are only two companies that make them. I forget what their names are. <laughs> you girl. Um, but you can Google it, and uh, I I actually like them a lot. Just make sure you get the right measurement, because I didn't. I can't use it with Dewey. That's. I wanted to do some new stuff with them on there, so I gotta spend. And th by the way, they're a little overpriced, but uh, you know, so are these. You know, so you can do it yourself or just. You know, spend a little too much money and, and get a good a good one. Alright, that's all.